Hi guys, I'm John Bro, and welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Story. Uh, uh, I'm not looking forward to this level. It's a really cool level, but oh man, the boss at the end. It's gonna be ugh. So I'm gonna be, I guess, Blue Yoshi. Let's be Dark Blue Yoshi to be really chameleon-like against this background, I suppose. What do you have to say, hint box? Ride the snakes! Up and down, left and right, jump on the snake to change his flight. What? Okay, so th these don't look like snakes. These kind of look like, uh, I don't know, I would say maybe those those balloons that clowns fold up into party animals. Party animal balloons. They're cool, though. Look at this. Yeah, so in this happy game full of, uh, full of sunshine and, and flowers and greatness and rainbow dust, we are riding on snakes. Huh? That's just not the kind of sentence you would expect to hear from a game like this. We are riding on snakes. So it's kind of interesting how this works. It just zigzag, 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 zigzag. We're making sign graphs. Kind of. Except they're sideways. Um, yeah. It's always, oh boy. This is the end of the side. Uh, oh, go. Uh, no, I don't want to get the melon. Okay, fine. Yeah, this was always a really cool level to me. I always kind of liked the concept. And I wish that more levels had these, these snake things. Of course, I would always wish that they could go different directions from the two directions that they always do, but... Yeah. There's just kind of a different mindset to it. What is this? It's a balloon! We don't have any eggs to shoot this balloon with. Maybe there are eggs nearby? Uh, I don't see any. Which is sad, because I think that is the balloon... Not the balloon, the bubble. The bubble? Have I said balloon this whole time? Uh, I don't know. Because we're going to have to break this in order for a heart to appear. So I'm just going to beat up against it a whole bunch, and yeah, there we go, that works. Because you, uh, you can hit a bubble a bunch of times to break it, as well as uh, just... Ah, that, that, that. As well as just sh shooting it with an egg, both things work. Oh, hey, shy guys. Or fly guys, I guess they would, these would be. Ah! I don't want to fall off here, because if you fall off in this spot, it's more inconsistency in level design. If you're here, then I think you'd die, which is just kind of random. It suddenly changes from, oh, everything's okay, you can just go straight up, to, oh, you die if you fall. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense. So the background looks like pants. That's all I'm going to say about that. Kind of like Kirby's Epic Yarn. Very fun. I haven't played a lot of Kirby's Epic, Epic Yarn. I kind of want to, but... Uh, chain reactions. Tiny little shy guys everywhere, all over the place. Die, die, die. Die, guys. Die, shy guys. What little I've played of Kirby's Epic Yarn seemed kind of fun. It seemed very, very artistic. I liked the art style a lot. But, uh... Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to play very much of it because I didn't actually own it. Um, I, I believe it was someone else who owned it and I was just borrowing it, kind of, I guess. I don't know, but... Yeah, I think I would actually buy it and play it, because... I would play it just for the art style alone, it's really cool looking. People actually expected the art style in this game to be really different, this, this game right here, Yoshi's Story. Uh, I think what people were expecting it to look like was uh, Donkey Kong Country. Which, parts of it, I think, do kind of look like Donkey Kong Country. I think Yoshi kind of is... Whoa! Hey, melons! Uh, I think Yoshi kind of has a sort of Donkey Kong Country kind of vibe to his animation, but... I think the, the game works better as it looks right now. Or no, maybe I'm thinking of Yoshi's Island. Because I think Yoshi's Island had a different art style from what it was expected to have. I don't know, maybe both games had that kind of mindset to them. So, uh, ride the dragon? First we were riding on snakes, and now we're riding on dragons? We just saw your bone counterparts in the last video, but... Okay. Apparently you're friendly now, for some reason. 
Hey, this is really a sign graph. This is a sign graph right here. I like this. Can we get tangent next? No, we need cosine first, then tangent. Oh man. I got I got those uh, those fruits a lot faster than I was hoping to get them though. Up up oh guy uh, You have to hit the switch and then come up here. Go into this pot if you're hoping to get all the hearts. This is the only way that you can get the heart. Is by going into this little area over here. Oh man, it looks like you could fall in between these clouds, so I'm not going to risk anything. Hmm. I guess I have to hit this. This isn't... No, this isn't looking good. Areas where you have to constantly go up like this with the clouds makes me think of uh, that chapter in... Oh man, I have to hit that too? Great. This is more complicated than... Cake, cop, cop, copple cake. It's more complicated than I was expecting. Yeah, areas like this make me think of Super Paper Mario. You know what chapter I'm thinking of, if you've played that before. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to spoil it, because that is kind of a big spoiler. Haha, <laughs> we made it to the top. Oh, no, I don't want to eat fruit yet. I don't want to eat all the fruit. I don't even want to eat the super happy fruit, even though that doesn't count for my overall fruit score. Oh, there's so many melons. They're all so tempting. So many tempting melons, but no, I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to fly to the bottom. Okay, not fly to the bottom. I'm going to fly and then get... <laughs> that cloud stopped my fall. I like how the clouds look. Because it's just like... I don't know. They took a few bits of cloth and stuffed them and stitched them together. Kind of funny. Where am I supposed to go next? I have two hearts. I believe the next one's going to be in here. Or the last one's going to be in here someplace. Oh yeah, it's going to be in here. I don't think it's even going to be a problem. Um... What? What are... What? What? Bees? Bees? Okay, there's the heart. That's all you have to do. You just stomp that and you get the heart, and I have to... Ah, uh, Bees, that is so random! This game is so random! I don't understand why there are bees in this, this high up in the sky. Stop squinting, man. You know where you're going. Well, I guess he had to be... I guess he was sleeping. This is a really awkward place to sleep. I don't think I would want to sleep midway in the sky, in mid-air. That just seems kind of awkward. That awkward moment where you're uh, sleeping in the sky. So we eat the grapes, and oh no, I'm not looking forward to this. The screen crumbles. The screen crumbles because of the death and destruction that is going to be this boss. Cloud and candy! Slurpity slurp, I'm so sweet, you can't lick me, burp! That is a great rhyme, I love that. Okay, so this is the hardest boss in video game history. I don't know if I can beat this. Like, I might try, but I, I don't think I'll get this all in one try. So, what you do is you lick it, and you're done. There's an earthquake for some reason, but we're nowhere close to the Earth, so that doesn't make any sense. The screen glows! Yeah. I don't think I have ever played a boss easier than that one. I'm pretty sure that everyone considers that to be the easiest boss battle in video game history. Not counting, of course, RPG battles where you're scripted to win the battle. Uh, those don't count. But yeah, that, that is just like... That's that's easier than Goombas and Mario. That's just like, you lick it. You eat you eat him, just by... What? And he heals you as you beat him, so whatever. As the Yoshis were walking, they found it... Mmm, fine. The Yoshis were afraid of failing... Oh, sorry, falling. But they walked on the clouds anyway. Up in the sky, they met Cloud in Candy, who was mean but tasted sweet. So, what does the N stand for? Nothing. 
Get it? Nothing? The page turned and the Yoshis grew happier. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd be... Well, actually, no. I wouldn't be happy at all if I ate an entire cloud that was made of candy. I would be sick to my stomach. I'd be throwing up for the next, like, 16 days. So next up is the jungle. And we're going to go to the jungle hut in the jungle. Because, you know, it's a hut in a jungle. So, <laughs> I will see you then, and thank you for watching.